dreamy Neptune floats the romantic Pisces energy towards the planet of expansion Jupiter in deep, passionate, hot damn science Scorpio. What do you think comes out? Steam, da. Except this time, versus being pure carnal, hmm, well, you do what you have to do. It's more spiritual. Cause it's water trine and Neptune. I know it's not Uranus, but it's still a bolt of lightning hitting you and giving you the cosmic download of your why. Why did I lose someone? Why did I get this health issue? Why aren't things working out at work? Why would that lousy co-worker not leave me alone? You know who that is. Why did this guy look too good to be true? Well, if you found him this month, he probably is. I don't want you to underestimate the power of this rare outer planet transit has on your personal life. Why is it so significant? Because Jupiter is calling the shots here. It rules Pisces and Neptune is in Pisces, hence the depositor. This is all way too strong to ignore and why ignore something so positive? Oh, well, almost positive. With Neptune you can never be sure. It deludes, it deludes, Jupiter makes every illusion bigger, even in the most perspective, deep sign of Scorpio. So yes, dream a little dream of him, maybe even dream about a royal wedding. But be sure you wear your practical Virgo moon hat later in the week to suss them out. Do not get manipulated. Do not tell me I didn't tell you so. Don't cry a river. Or maybe do if it heals you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, especially born between 7th to 9th of July, 7th to 9th of November and 7th to 9th of March. This is your tribe. So if you have any personal planets between 15 to 17 degree of Cancer, Pisces and Scorpio, this is your trine. This is going to affect you and benefit you the most. So soak in the creativity, love, romance, music, dance, high learning, whatever brings you closer to your definition of God. You got every hidden corner of your life blowing up, coming into light, so you can heal it. That's what Jupiter in Scorpio is all about. He wants you to repair you and prepare you for all the fun Jupiter in Sagittarius is going to bring us at the end of the year. I can't wait for the member. Going into each signs, Aries, yes, whatever you lost, whosoever you lost during the destruction of Uranus, it's time to heal now. It's perfect energy for that. Taurus can't go help and go on a trip with their significant other or their wife to get or husband to get the friendly energy back in their relationship. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Health issues came out properly. Work issues came out properly. What's not working came out in the light already. Let's get the creative at work. And let's use our creative energies now to get things going and fixing it. Cancer, it's intense love, but it just got spiritual and kids are teaching what life couldn't. They've got, a vis- they've got the wisdom to listen to your kids. Leos are busy bringing healing transformation at home. Just beware of any water leakage at home. Uh, it's Neptune, the god of sea. Virgos are selling it. They're bringing the ideas to the table, locking and sealing the deal. And all their close relationships are helping them in that. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. (laughs) What should I say that I haven't said yet? Well, you are bringing the romantic creative energy and bringing fun to your whole persona and work. Sachi's got a lot of healing going on behind the scene. It's 12th house after all. Before it's all expanded and becoming big, they they got to heal before that. And their family is going to help out this week on that to rebuild them. Cappies can't help but network and use their communication skills to get more and more people on bigger and bigger things. They just have to reach out to the masses using their talents. Aquas, it's time to shine professionally and get creative, get your network and your self worth. Pisces, again, I mean, what what more can I say? I mean, this is this is your trying. Bring your best teaching to the world. Find the best guru you can this week. Travel to your new spiritual destiny. This is your time. For all the signs, enjoy the healing. Love this beautiful sky. I mean, what best week, what better week to have a royal wedding in, right? The sky is bringing a huge amount of healing and love this week. Just stay away from illusions and ask the question, why? 
be open to receive the answer and accept. Namaste.